Hi, I'm Annabelle Wenzel, and this is my confirmation essay. When I was baptized on April 29th, 2007, I became a part of God's family. As part of God's family, I am called to encourage others and to be baptized and join in his family. As is written in Acts 22:16. And now why do you wait? Rise and be baptized and wash your sins away, calling on his name. Also, as a member of God's family, I want to continue to grow in God's word and learn about God's plan for me. I know that, I, that to continue to grow, I need to regularly confess my sins to God. Confessing my sins leads to me to think about how I've failed to live up to God's expectations of me and make me want to do better. Like all Christians, I'm comforted by comforted by knowing God through his, the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ, forgives all my sins and loves me despite my sins. The Apostles' Creed says to me that God has given me everything that I have and that he will always be there to protect me because he loves me. He sent his only son to die for me so that my sins would be forgiven, and he sends his Holy Spirit to open my eyes to his teachings and to strengthen my faith. I know that I constantly need to work on my faith and trust in God. This can seem difficult when faced with events of everyday life, but I know that he is with me every step of the way. I believe that the Ten Commandments are both a blessing and a warning from God. Regarding all Ten Commandments, Luther wrote in his small catechism that we should fear and love God. The Holy Bible also says in many verses that we should fear God and in other verses that we should love God. This might sound like a contradiction, but I have learned that we need to both fear and love God to truly be sorry for our sins, as is written in Proverbs Proverbs 1, 7. The fear of the Lord is beginning of knowledge, fools despite wisdom and instruction. Also in Deuteronomy 10, 12 says, And now Israel, what does, your, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God? to walk in all ways to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. God loves us and wants us to pray for him often. I have learned that prayer is an important element to grow in, to grow, in order to grow in our relationship with God, as Jesus said in Matthew 21, 22. As whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. God has assured us that he will answer all our prayers, and it is, com it is very comforting to know that he is always there to hear my prayers, even if I don't always like his answer. In the sacrament of Holy Communion, I receive the gifts of forgiveness, of sins, life, and salvation. These gifts allow me to live without dwelling on my past failures, but to rather live in the present and look towards the future. Always growing in my faith. Confirmation is one very significant way in which I'm growing my face. Professing my face publicly, as I'm doing today, does not come easy for me, and I've been praying that God would give me my strength to say these words out loud. Paul wrote in his letter to Romans in chapter 8, verse 26, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses, for we do not know what to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself inter intercedes for us, groaning too deep for words. I wish to continue to grow in my faith so that I am able to, tr to truly make a difference in God's kingdom. Thank you.